Hello, my name is Brandon with Icon Time Systems Technical Support. Today, I'm going to guide you through installing your RTC 1000 2.0 employee time clock on your network. In this video, we're going to talk about physically connecting the RTC 1000 2.0 employee time clock to your existing network, powering on your RTC 1000 2.0 employee time clock, checking the clock's network address or IP address, and finally logging in to the RTC 1000 2.0 employee time clock once it's connected. By now you've probably opened up your product package and inspected all of the accessories inside. For this connection we're going to need the time clock, the network cable, which looks like this with two identical ends. We're also going to need the power adapter, which comes in a box like this. With your network cable unwrapped, simply take one of the ends of the network cable and insert it into an existing network port. If you have one on your wall, just go ahead and stick it in there. Make sure that it's an active port so that we can communicate with your clock. If you don't have a wall port like this, you may need to find your router, which would look something like this. We'll have ports on the back, and you just take one end of your network cable and plug it into an available port. Once you have it plugged in, we're ready to put the other end with the clock. Once you have your network cable plugged into your network, either into the wall or into your router, take and run the cable to your time clock need to plug it into the network port which is located on the bottom next to the power outlet. The next step in setting up your RTC 1000 2.0 employee time clock to your network is connecting the clock to power. To do this we'll need the power supply which comes in a box like this. I've taken a power supply out of the box and I have it right here. Now what I'm going to do with this so I'm going to plug the power supply into a surge protector like this. Now keep in mind that a surge protector and a power strip are not the same thing. A power strip distributes power among devices but does not restrict harmful voltage spikes from getting to your unit. So make sure that you purchase a surge protector. If you don't want to purchase a surge protector, you can purchase a UPS battery backup, which is also a good idea because it will keep your clock powered on in the event of a power outage. So it is our recommendation that you get either a surge protector or a UPS battery backup. Now to power the unit on, simply take your power supply and plug it into an available outlet on your surge protector. And then take your clock and plug the other end of the power supply into the power outlet on the bottom of the clock. At this point, the clock is going to boot up and initialize. During initialization, the clock will communicate with your router and will automatically receive an IP address. This address will be displayed as the clock boots up. If you can, watch for this number and write it down, as this will be needed to log into the clock. If you missed the IP address the first time, you can view it from the supervisor mode on the RTC 1000 2.0 employee time clock. To do this, Press the lock key and enter the supervisor code, which is 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 by default. Then scroll up to view IP address and press enter. The clock's IP address will be displayed here. Once you've written this down, press the clear key until you see the enter ID number screen. Please note, if the clock's IP address reads 172.16.0.1, this address is invalid. To correct this, simply unplug the power, make sure the network cable is firmly inserted, and plug the power back in. The clock should come up with a new IP address. Also note, if you are a network administrator and would like to set up a static IP address for your RTC 1000 2.0 employee time clock, please refer to our knowledge base, article KB0091, on our website, www.icontime.com support.
With your clock powered on and connected to the network, you are ready to log in for the first time. To do this, open up your favorite internet browser and simply type in the clock's IP address in the address bar, making sure to omit www from the address. Once entered, press enter on your keyboard. Keep in mind that this is not connecting to the internet. This will establish a direct connection with the clock and will bring up the clock's login screen, so an internet connection is not required. To log in, use the default login. Username, admin in all lowercase letters, and for a password, enter admin, also in all lowercase letters. When you press submit, you will be required to change your password. Change it to something you will remember and press submit. You are now logged in to the RTC 1000 2.0 employee time clock. For future use, we're going to create a favorite or bookmark in your browser so that you can quickly come back to the login screen so you don't have to remember the IP address of the clock or type it in every time. For Internet Explorer, click on Favorites and then click Add to Favorites. For Mozilla Firefox, click on Bookmarks and then click Bookmark this page. Now, by accessing your Favorites or Bookmarks menu, you can simply click on your bookmark and have access to the clock's login screen. Let's do a quick recap on how to connect your RTC 1000 2.0 employee time clock to your network. First, connect the clock to your network using the provided Ethernet cable. Second, power on the unit using the supplied power supply. Third, check the clock's network address or IP address. Fourth, log in to the clock using your selected browser. If you have any questions about your RTC 1000 2.0 employee time clock and connecting it to your network, please call our technical support line at 1-800-847-2232, option 1, and one of our technical support engineers will help you. Once again, my name is Brandon with Icon Time Systems Technical Support. Thank you for watching and have a great day.